As airlines and other industries take a massive hit to the coronavirus, President Trump is reassuring them by promising to back the industry. Here's a look at those comments from a briefing earlier this week. As far as the airlines are concerned, the airlines, we're going to uh, back the airlines 100 percent. It's not their fault. Uh, it's nobody's fault unless you go to the original source. But it's nobody's fault. And uh, we're going to be in a, a position to help the airlines very much. We've told the airlines we're going to help them. The president also reiterated that the airline industry is a top priority for government bailouts. Joining us to discuss this further is former air carrier owner and founder of the Safe State Project, Don Trumbull. Thank you for joining us. Good to be here, Stephanie. So the U.S. airline industry is seeking around $50 billion to help aid their losses from the coronavirus pandemic. Will this be enough to help the industry amid this crisis? Well, uh, that's that's tough to tell. You know, we're dealing with a lot of unknowns. Uh, if things work out as planned, we recover quickly. Uh, six to eight weeks, we've got minimal service, partial shutdowns. Uh, I think uh, we're going to recover just fine. Government can bail us out. And we're off and running. Uh, we get to the worst case scenarios or more of a long term shutdown. That's going to be tough to deal with. So we're hoping that doesn't happen. But you know, if things go quickly, we can recover and uh, go back to our normal lives. You talk about a worst case scenario, which brings me to my next question. How can Americans prepare for a worst case scenario if the airline industry is further impacted by the economic fallout from the coronavirus? Well, uh, you know, if the airlines suffer from a worst case scenario, so does America. And that's something that we don't want to happen. You know, we're not ready for the worst case scenario. We're doing a good job right now. Um, we've got an Achilles heel and it can take down our industries. It can take down our supply chains and we're not ready for that. So again, we've got to hope this wraps up quickly. Community spread drops, but if community spread continues on or if we get into a delayed vaccination uh, situation, cyclical uh, spread, uh, then we've got a problem. And uh, we're not ready. We can be ready. And I think uh, private sector and government are going to have to work together. Uh, we're going to need to have front end defense, back end defense, and community preparedness. That's really what's going to allow us to survive the future. We've been working on it for 10 years, but it's going to take Trump to do something. You know, sometimes you've got to touch the hot stove to see the danger. And I think we're all seeing that right now. So the mindset is starting to click and a lot of lessons are being learned. Mm -hmm. And earlier this week, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, he said in a press conference that this is worse than 9-11 for the airline industry. Now, let me ask you, as a former air carrier owner, what is your best advice for people who are considering traveling during this time, although we know that there are those travel bans in place right now. Right. Well, if you're young and healthy and you're not compromised and you've got to fly, uh, you know, it's tough to avoid colds and viruses on an airplane. We've all gone flying. We come home with sniffles or maybe the flu. So it's very easy to spread. So it's one of those things where if you've got to fly, fly, go on with your life, but take simple precautions, common sense, try and keep your distance, clean your area. You know, the airlines are doing a, a great job of trying to sanitize the, the cabin, but you've got to do it yourself because it doesn't take, you know, if you miss one spot, uh, that could get you. So clean your area and, you know, the overhead vents, be careful of those, they can blow. You don't want those blowing right on you. Use them to blow away or even turn them off. Pick a window seat, they say it's calmer there. So if you do those things, you give yourself your, your best chance. Mm -hmm. Common sense. Wanna see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.